Welcome back to Cutting It Close, where we talk about woodworking technology, a little bit of business, and make some cool projects. I'm Ryan, this is Greg. Hello there. So today's video, I wanted to talk about the 10 things that I did to get to my first $100,000 in sales on Etsy. Since my first $100,000, we've done over 6 million on Etsy, but by and large, the first 100,000 was the hardest for me to do. I wanted to share that information with y'all, so it's not so hard for y'all. So one of the hardest things I did just starting off was just making my Etsy shop in general. It took me probably four months to build up the courage to just make the Etsy shop. After that, it was relatively easy to apply all of these tips that I'm gonna give you. So before the video starts, guys, give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok at CSC Workshop. I'll leave a link in the description below. Number 10, be unique. Don't make anything that somebody else can buy online. I went the handmade route. I didn't wanna buy what you could go and buy online or at the store. So I went out and looked at like Alibaba or Amazon and seen all the designs. And I made sure that one, my designs didn't look like that since I was making them handmade. And then two, I wanted it to be uniquely me to set myself apart from everybody else. That was kind of the first step as I'm trying to build out my listings on Etsy that I did to you know just make sure I'm a little bit different. Number nine, pick one category. Originally, when I first got on Etsy, the very early days, I was scattered everywhere. I was not known for anything. So this is like my first three months, four months on Etsy. I was not known for anything. And so what I figured out is if I just pick one category and get really good at that category, people will come back and find me on Etsy because they wanna rebuy from me. At the time, I only picked men's gift was gonna be my category. Any gift that's dealing with men. So women buying for men and men that were in the age of 25 to 50 years old. And that was kind of my target market that I picked and I only made products geared towards that category. So some coaching advice I can give you is maybe just pick one category, weddings, pets, kids, all of those babies, right? All of those are really big categories. And then maybe do a subcategory in that. What I saw a niche for or niche, what I saw that for was in men's gift. And so I picked men's gift as my category and then only made gifts centered around that. Number eight is I built a better mousetrap. You know, as I'm young and looking at all this stuff and, I, and now I pick the category men's gift, I was studying it and there's a couple products that are just doing great on there. And I said, well, I'm just gonna hop on that train. I looked at a product, made a better version of it, added some different variations, and that product really did well for me and really helped me get to that first 100K a lot faster. Tip number seven, big keywords. So one early mistake that I made on Etsy that only got me to my first $10,000 in sales is I did very specific keywords. For instance, if you have a stovetop cover, and if you only put black wooden stovetop cover and that's what you're making, you're only gonna get found if somebody searches that. But the interesting thing about Etsy that I've learned is that it's not like YouTube and Google where it's almost like a search algorithm, right? Etsy is more of a idea giving platform. And so most people will type in anniversary gift or housewarming gift or men's gift. I went through all of my listings and I put those giant keywords. I still put, let's say stovetop cover, right? Wood, wood stovetop cover, et cetera, on my tags and my title. It was more of like anniversary gift for wife. That's how you get these giant listings. So I have two listings on my Etsy shop currently that have done over a million dollars in sales. In order to have that hit listing, you need to have those giant keywords in there and that'll help you get from 10,000 to 100,000 because that may only actually be one listing that you need just to hit. Tip number six, I solely focused on Etsy. And so I was solely focused on Etsy. I didn't worry about Shopify, I didn't worry about Facebook, I didn't worry about anything else but Etsy. Now to give you a time frame of how long it took me to get to my first 100,000, it actually took me about two years. After the two years, I averaged about $100,000 a month. So it was a slow ramp up to that 100,000 and then it just shot off and you know, there's a couple years on Etsy, I did over a million dollars. Uh, but that, that just gives you a time frame. I just wanna make that clear in this video that this is not, this does not happen overnight. But I was an Etsy nerd for about three years and studied everything. And obviously that's how it helped me get to my first 100,000. Tip number five is that I let Etsy do the marketing for me. I would purposely make custom listings that I had no intention of selling, either made it really high price or made it like a bulk category, right? So I said bulk men's gifts and purposely did that because what happens and what I've learned on Etsy through the years now 
is that people will reach out to you and they want 50 of an item or 100 of the item and you can actually sell to them off of Etsy, keep your 10%. Etsy's still happy because that customer is shopping on Etsy and you're even happier because now you did this giant order. It technically didn't count towards the Etsy revenue, but it did help my shop get found and I did sell bulk items of whatever item they reached out to me for that really, really helped. Point number four, use software to study your competition. So there's a lot of software out there now, but back in 2017, there wasn't very much stuff out there. And so at the time, I believe I used E-Rank um, and I still use E-Rank. So it allows you to look at your competition's tags, their titles, what kind of descriptions they're using, their photos, how much they're charging. And using software, it just gives you that edge up. So that brings me to tip number three, have great photos and no watermarks. I made this mistake way early on where I was putting text and stuff like that over my photos. And so I'd have this photo and be like, over a hundred reviews or over a thousand reviews or add your name here. Well, the problem with those watermarks and this, these text overlays when you edit photos, Etsy and the whole Etsy algorithm automatically kicks those photos out. So the Etsy marketing team does not put photos that have watermarks on their emails. So whenever Etsy does an email blast to all its customers or shows stuff on their front page, a lot of times they won't show those watermarks because the algorithm's reading it and sending it to the marketing people at Etsy. It just knows there's a watermark on there. It doesn't read the text. You could be flipping somebody off. You could have crazy pictures on there. And so it only wants pictures that are not watermarked. I have no idea how it tracks it, but in my experience, my pictures that got watermarked did not get pushed out in email. And then the ones that did got blasted out in an Etsy email. And then I got this giant spike in sales from it. And some of those giant spikes really, really helped me get to those that first $100,000 mark. Tip number two is I wrote a ton of thank you notes. Handwritten thank you notes, thanking the customer. Thank you so much, Susie. I really appreciate you because you really do, right? She's buying something. She's never met you before, most likely. She's buying something from you. Literally, I would write a half a page thank you note, which is probably a little too long. I wrote a half a page thank you note to my first thousand customers on Etsy. Etsy really, really likes whenever you sell something and you get a review for it. So whenever you make a sale, if you get a review with that sale, Etsy really likes it. If you get five sales and four reviews, that product's gonna get pushed up in the rankings. I was getting almost a review for everything I sold because of those thank you notes. So writing those thank you notes tremendously helped my shop and my listings get ranked because I had, let's say, a thousand sales and 900 reviews. Now I think I have like 17,000 reviews, so I don't have to write thank you notes as much. But when you're first starting out trying to get that first $100,000 in sales, you gotta write thank you notes. It hurts, it's like taking a test when you're in elementary school and you have to write that paper and your hand's hurting. It's all that good stuff, but it helps so much and really gets those listings up in the rankings. So I call tip number one, the shotgun method. That's where I made multiple listings for like the exact same product. So from about $50,000 in sales up to about a million and a half dollars in sales, I only had technically two different products on Etsy, but I had like 150 listings for it. Why I call it the shotgun method, you're just shooting and praying and you hope one of your listings takes off. So what I, when I mentor people a lot now, I look at their Etsy shop and they have 35 items and they have 35 listings. And so their chances of one of those listings hitting the target or hitting the mark are a lot slimmer than mine, which has 50 different listings for the exact same item. Let's say you sell cutting boards on Etsy. Instead of just putting it under walnut cutting board or big cutting board, that listing should be under wedding gifts, closing gifts, anniversary gift, gifts for men, gifts for him, husband gift, wife gift, come home gift, barbecue cook off gift, all of those different tags should be a totally separate listing. So what I do, I blast all that out there, and to this date, I think I've made over five, 600 listings on Etsy. Two of those listings have done about 70% of my total revenue on Etsy overall. I went from 50,000 to over 100,000 very quickly. If you do the math, it's just very simple math. If you double the amount of listings, you could get double the money. Or you can 10X the amount of listings and hopefully get double or triple the money that way. It's pretty basic, but it does work. It works really well. It worked well for me, and I hope that it works well for you. So there you have it guys, the 10 ways that I've went from zero to my first 100,000 on Etsy. Once again, it is the hardest 100,000 you'll ever make on Etsy, I promise. 
but it does get easier after that. You just gotta go through that phase. You can do it, I believe in you. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you would like us to go into any detail on any of those particular topics, please leave that in the comment section below. Until next time, have a great day.